I'm in the process of making a model inline four engine block and this is where I've gotten up to so far. I have the model over here. Um, I have printed off the model, which is right here. Um, and I've got a crank case that I was working on that has been printed off as well, which is right here. And now I'm just working on making the piston system. I've got the piston heads over here and they fit fully flush with the piston um, holes over here. So now I just need to print off the other two. I've only got two right now and I need to make the piston connecting rod, which is going to be a challenge because after that, I'm then going to need to make a crank shaft. This is the only way I've gotten up to so far. On my build plate right now, I've got um, the connecting rod over here and I've got the pin to hold in the piston wrist pin and then I can just see if it fits in all right and if I need to reprint it or anything like that. I've just got this matte grey filament which is quite nice um, and then if it all works then I'll print the remaining two. I have some slots below for some magnets so that instead of having to bolt it down it'll be a nice satisfying click once it's fully closed. I'm going to manufacture it out of um, aluminium and stainless steel most likely and then or titanium and then um, I should be able to get the model fully done. After I've done with all this I'm going to start designing the crank shaft. I have, let me see how long left. Yep, there is nine, 16 minutes left on the um, connecting rods that are printing right now. I had four different prototypes for the engine blocks so far. Um, the first one, which was um, a really tall version of that one, it was, I think, almost double the height. And then I just decided to get rid of it because, and added a few changes to it. Um, it also had V-shaped cutouts, which would be really hard to mill, so I decided to make them straight. Second prototype, um, I made the straight, and then um, it was the same height until I realized later on that it's going to need a crank case. So the third one, um, I cut it down quite significantly in height, and everything else was basically the same. I moved those holes slightly lower down. Um, I changed that to be proportional to the size of this and then for the fourth prototype I basically did the exact same but I realized I was missing one of these um, what's it called weight reduction points and the fuel collection points and the oil collection points so I added one more and then after I did that I reduced the total height by three millimeters and change the amount that that went all the way down and then since that was done this is this prototype right here and the crank case is the same one here then after that i moved on to the piston heads the piston connecting rods and the piston wrist pin this is my first prototype for each of them so far so after they get off the build plate then i can show you making the um, engine block was quite simple it started with just a normal sketch here, uh, I'll make that visible. It was just a rectangle and then I inputted a canvas which was um, a plan view of a normal engine and then I just changed it to fit my needs. So afterwards I made a, third, a second sketch which was this one over here which didn't copy everything down. If you look at the top view here, um, it didn't match everything perfectly. That was just like a guide to see exactly what I can actually use. So after I did that, I extruded it downwards, um, which gave me the final height of it. Um, remove that canvas now. And then I made another sketch over here, which was for, I think these parts here, these triangles. And then, um, Oh no, sorry, it was for that but on the other side. And then I just extruded that all the way through. After I did that, <coughs> um, I extruded the holes down fully. Let me remove the sketches. And then I extruded these parts down. 
and made another sketch i think for these parts here the holes that are going to go there and yep and then i extruded it after i had done that um i made another sketch and extruded it which is going to be that part down to make it fully um rectangular then i made another sketch and another sketch and then began extruding the rest of the parts which were minor details that changed the height of it and that added another one of these um and then it gave me this the piston head is really simple it's basically just a cylinder made and then turned into a shell with two holes this is like the most basic um of designs i can think of right now because i'm just prototyping then the connecting rod is um again the most basic version i printed one at that full height which is 1.5 or 15 sorry and then another one that was just 10 and then the piston wrist pin is just a cylinder with my other dimensions so um yeah i'm just going to wait for it here for the little plate the next thing that i need to do is decide whether or not i'm going to use magnets or bolts I think it would be nice to have bolts because then it's going to be fully secured but it will kind of defeat the purpose of it being a model engine block so you can see how everything is working um, if I have magnets though the only problem is the maximum I can get for this size is a kilogram pulling force but they'll be like meeting each other so it'll probably double the pulling force um, and I'm not sure how that will fare up if I'm going to be using metal for the full prototype for the full model so after I see the pro the prototype with the magnets, then I'll see how the pulling force is. Then I'll decide whether or not I'm going to change this for bolts or for magnets. The bolts will be probably five millimeter diameter. So yeah, we'll see. Okay, so the print is finished. Now I can go to the build plate and remove it and then see if it is working fully. Okay, so I'm just gonna get them off the build plate now and then test if it's working. Okay, so it's off the build plate now. That's the head, that is the piston thingy, and that's the pin over here. When I went to put it together, um, turns out that the depth of this hole and the hole in that position isn't lined up. So once I went to put it in, the hole was not fully aligned. Therefore, the pins couldn't go in. So I need to reprint the piston heads with the hole slightly lower. It, it also seems like this version looks a lot better than this one. So I will scrap the 1.5 mil, the 1.5 centimeters one and go for one centimeter one. So the first thing that I will do is change this extrusion down to negative 15, negative 10. That doesn't really matter as much. Then after I've done that, I can measure from the top the distance between this point here and that point there which is two mil so now that i've done that i can go to the piston head and then i can measure the distance between this and the top of that which is 1.45 so i'll go to the sketch where i initially created it which was not this one this one so i'll go to that sketch there and then put a sketch dimension so that it will go from i need to create another line going up go four and then make it go down two and then i'll need to just move that down by two but that's not precise so what i will do is 5.1 over 2 is 2.6 so i can just delete that to make this go down 2.6 mil 5.1 nope 2.55 and then press enter I can get rid of this other line is it that one yes i can get rid of that one and then create a new one which is 5.1 and 
and then it matches up perfectly. So then I can just finish the sketch and then re-extrude it so I can get rid of that extrusion there. Then hide the body, um, make the sketch visible, make it visible again, and then I can just extrude it going both ways to cut. And now that is done, I can just send it over to the printer. So I'll save this file and then export it as an SDL. Same as the, not the wrist pin, the, this one. I'll just save that as an STL as well. So save, export as an STL. And then I'll put it on the slicer. Okay, so I've got my files over here. I will print two of them off. So I'll put that on the bed and rotate it. So I'll lay it on that face. And then move it over, copy it down, do the same thing here. And then I'll print a couple more of those pins. Just two of them. And then I will just change the settings slightly. So I'll go to here the quality is fine strength is fine support is fine that's all fine so i'll go and slice the plate it's going to use 10 grams of filament half an hour to print um let me just yeah okay and then i can just start the print and then i can just print the plate Okay, so I removed this from the build plate. I sanded it down because of the tiny little bit on each side. Um, I haven't tested it yet, but you can see the um, part have the linear piston movement, which is good. Or oh, is that technically angular actually? Because it's not completely flat. Either way, then we just go ahead and test it now. Okay, so it does fit, which is good. It goes up and down like it's supposed to. Um, and it moves side to side whilst in that piston position. So the only thing that I need to try and calculate is the depth that the um, piston shaft should go down. Because if I have my crank case on top, then this goes up and down from this side. I don't know exactly how far it needs to go down, especially with the crankshaft. So that is what I need to do research on. So until I have figured that out, I'm just going to leave this here and I'll get back to you when I start making the crankshaft and the remaining pistons. So see you in the next one.